Hi guys, it's Growing With Bacon. Um, we got a lot of material to process and I've decided to do the jar check with Wiz and Sure on his class. So I am building myself a drawing chamber or a heat chamber. Um, so to use in my jar tech, something where I can have controlled and uh, heat and uh, something where I can leave my jar to cool down really slow to separate um, my trichomes, my, my uh, THC. So this is what I got going on. So basically it's just one bucket. I'm recycling an old Silex from a coffee maker, Pyrex glass. And for my heating element, uh, a friend of mine gave me uh, a heat pad, commercial heat pad uh, for ovens or, you know, laboratory use. So what I'm going to do is stick this to that and put this in here and set this in polyurethane and I will have my jar uh, my jar tech oven ready to go instead of heating instead of using one of those uh, heating pads bent over I'm gonna try and uh, have a more controlled environment in this way so today I'm gonna start putting things together guys and uh, I'll show you what uh, how it comes out so guys here's this is what we got going on so we have our controller installed through the bucket ready to rock and roll right here I'm gonna glue on the side and we have our Pyrex um, container sitting in the foam centered in the bucket six inches from the top full foam um, and here I have my cover that's hardening up I will mold this in so it fits is there's a little too much well that's okay because I want this to be uh, snug and uh, so this is uh, minus 25 foam um, I had to buy a stupid gun for it to make it work but this is uh, this is what we got going on I have a nice little heating chamber in the bottom and we should be golden oh, I'm getting some spillage over on that side so guys I'll let you see this when it's all done and uh, ready to rock and roll talk to you soon that is my jar tech oven being made so Follow me. We'll see what this girl can do. See you on the next one, guys. Bye.